Hello, everybody. It is your professor, Rocco, you boy, coming at you once again with another Age of Sigmar video. In this AOS general class, we will be going about all the exciting mistakes that I keep seeing in the shooting phase and how to fix them. They're scintillating. They're, well, well snappy title to be determined. All right, TBD that. But as your professor, I got to say my three things that I keep seeing that keep on happening is, well, first off, Age of Sigmar can be almost like a bunch of mini-games and a series of different things that you can and can't do, and you play around. Like, there's counter-deployment, there's, you know, like, where do you force your opponent to redeploy or not? What do you do? In the shooting phase, and I'll hammer it again in, in the combat phase, my mini game is how do I get my opponent to use all out defense on the wrong unit? So here's what I do. Cause I like I like rolling deep with the shooting meta and having multiple units for this. So the, again, it's the shooting phase specific thing. We're assuming you have a shooting army, you know, you brought a bunch of skull cannons and corn, good for you. You know, we a shooting army. I when I have my target priority, I know there's there's two or three units that I just need to shoot dead because I don't want to get anywhere near it in combat in case I can't kill it. And then it just beats the snot out of me back. You know, if there's something I need to soften up and like halfway kill so that my unit can charge in and finish it off, great. You know, I have a priority and a list of targets I need to kill. Okay? In the shooting phase. So... If I know my opponent has a command point saved for save stacking one of the three units, my first volley from a unit of whatever will go to a unit that is like the second most important thing, all right? I, it may not be the general that I'm trying to target down, but maybe it's, you know, it may not be the maw crusher, but maybe I want to shoot up a bunch of pigs. And I want to see if my opponent is willing to trade a command point to save those pigs, to give them all-out defense to negate my rend. And that's great. Because then the next two shooting units, you know, the other two skull cannons, or the other three skull cannons in my army, hypothetically, don't, <laughs> skull cannons are bad, but you know what I mean. Long strikes, um, handgunners, crossbowmen, reavers for Namardi, uh, Alapex, Harpoons, you know, uh, Lumineth Realm Lord, Archers, whether on the, the Kangaroos or, you know, Caradron Overlords, you're shooting meta. If I can bait my opponent out to use their co precious command point that generally you can only spend once on one command, again, unless there, you have a certain hero or ability to let you break that, but generally speaking... You know, if they're trying to go and say that command point on a different unit, then that frees up the rest of my army to focus down my actual target for the shooting phase. Will this always work? No. But it's better than me saying, hey, I'm going to go and kill your Maw Crusher, and they go, no, you're not. <laughs> and they save stack it so they, they, you know, they, they still get plus one save at the end of it and ignore all my rend. You know, it gives me a chance, and if they present another opportunity somewhere, you know, maybe I'm killing some some uh, pigs that were too far away from the uh, mega boss to get the whole. Uh, they spent a command point, and a few units get the ability. You know, it and it only has to work one time to get your opponent guessing what you're trying to do, and then they'll outthink themselves usually after that point. Now, the second thing here is people don't know when to spend their all-out attack. Because usually it's you're like, you're gunning for that Maw Crusher, you called your shot, go all-out attack, they all-out defense, it washes, and then you feel bad because you have less command points because you went first. You have two, they have three, it's rough. You didn't roll your four up to get a free command point, they did. So it's two command points to four, and it's just it feels bad wasting a resource. So again, going off of, we already baited their out their all-out defense on somebody else, then the next unit gets the all-out attack. We're playing that game of chicken here. 
on trying to get our opponent to waste resources in places that they don't need to be at and that we can just avoid later on. And probably even more importantly than my dog running by here, because I'm keeping this take, because I'm Johnny One Take, is if your army has an aura, like in Cities of Sigmar, we have the Hurricaneum, where its models within the aura of the Hurricaneum get plus one to hit. It compensates for the command point. Just do that! Build that into your army. If you are building to be a shooting powerhouse, you know, play around. If you're, you know, your buff piece here, if you have the ability, if you are Lumineth Realm Lords and you can fit a Lord Region in your list and you've got a couple big juicy blocks of freaking archers that you don't want to pet, cast in Power of Hishon because you know your opponent is bringing a lot of anti-magic things, you need redundancy. Bring... The uh, the freaking hero to at least try to cast in the greater power of Hish so that if that gets blocked, then your units are more free to cast. You know, just, if you have the ability to bring redundancies, whether it's an aura for plus ones to hit or extra versions of the spell, do that. Please do that. Because if you're like, my whole plan lives or dies and if I can spend the command point for all that attack on the right unit, or if I get this one really important spell off, that can be stopped very easily by your own dice, let alone or your own lack of command points, let alone your opponent. All right, now part three here. I'm gonna get a little heat for this, but it comes with target priority and splitting shots. Now listen, we are not all my friend Jack Ballard from rerolling ones where you can just split fire and split fire and split fire and it always works out in every battle report i love the channel they're friends of the show here rerolling ones love them and it, it's kind of like a running joke and it works until it doesn't now we are not again we are not always going to roll all sixes we're not always going to do everything sometimes you really do need to play the odds of the dice and hope that you roll at least even you know, I can not even begin to count. I can think of at least twenty times where because I did not split fire for my 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 uh, Namardi Reavers even even recently I killed Lady Olander and her bodyguard um, spirit hosts to the wound both the un both units Lady Olander and her and the three spirit hosts guarding her to the wound because I didn't split shots. I recently killed Scarbrand to the wound. Another, the Bloodthirster General in that corner army too, to the wound. Because of, I didn't split shots. Sometimes you really do need weight of dice in order to do things in this kind of a safe stacking meta. And just to say, hey man, can you make 43 ups? Can you? Can you make those four ups? Make your opponent roll their dice. You know, dice betray you all the time. That's why we play this game. If it was known to be a to be like an, a foregone conclusion, we wouldn't be playing it. That's the fun of Warhammer. Anything can happen in Warhammer because it's all down to a dice roll at some point in time. Now, using tips one and two, you spent your command point wisely and you've made your opponent not spend theirs wisely. And then you didn't even spend your command point because you, you, you came with extra buffs. You're looking great. This is just, hey, can you make these dice rolls now? We've we've taken a dice as little out of the equation on your end as possible. This is on your opponent to roll saves. Can they do it? A lot of the times, no, because you're going to have the weight of dice. Now, for our friends coming over from 40k, there is... A lot of reason to split fire in 40k damage doesn't fill it in 40k warhammer 40,000 they have a different rule about how damage is allocated to models compared to our game age of sigmar so sometimes certain weapons in 40k are meant to kill infantry and others are meant to kill tanks so when you bring like a vehicle like a tank that has a turret made for killing a, an opposing tank and then little machine guns on the side to kill infantry, you split fire in that. In Age of Sigmar, 
it is a waste and you put that whole thing down the throat of somebody and just with all overwhelming firepower calling broken arrow for an artillery bombardment i don't know i don't care you do not split fire unless you are desperate and have to or if you are the aforementioned jack ballard um and with that ladies and gentlemen that's it. Those are my three tips. If you keep liking this series where I keep breaking down all the face stuff that I see, mistakes, and how to fix them, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Help spread this channel. We're making our push to 1,000 subs soon. We're getting really close to uh, 850 at the time of this. Keeps adding on. We keep helping more people. And also, I want to thank anyone who came from uh, this channel here to support the Rantathon 3, the uh, the stream for mental health that uh, benefited the charity Take This that uses uh, RPGs and video games to help people with uh, mental health issues, mental disabilities, mental delays, the whole gambit of things to, especially they help uh, veterans, they help uh, people of color, people L LGBTQ+, uh, through gaming and it it was such an amazing event we raised uh, over twelve thousand dollars for a wonderful charity that helps a lot of people and i want to thank any of our viewers here that went over from when i promoted before and helped donate thank you so much and i'd like to say at the end of all of our videos class dismissed bye <laughs>